Sigma Polka. Alibis. Al Alibis. 1963-2010. This is clearly meant to be like a mini version of the whole show. Of the whole show. Where you get, okay, you don't have to go any further, you can just do it all here and then go home and have exactly. lunch. Exactly. And this is the sense of it. This is seeing things as they are, which is a funny proclamation for a guy who was all about creating confusion and not, he didn't actually believe. I mean, you could say it's crossed out, right? It says it, says it backwards, seeing things as they are. You've got a huge X through the middle of it. In a way, it's a kind of a statement of all the confusion he wants to cause, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and there's also a little bit of a joke here in single point perspective, because he's essentially sort of rearranged the support for the canvas. One of the things that strikes me most about this is it's actually kind of god awful ugly, right? Which for me is high praise, right? I don't believe in the beautiful, but I do believe in the ugly, and that's what makes him pretty special. I think you're right. Lee Harvey Oswald, not that you'd know it, right? I mean, the thing about his, the titles matter with Polka. They do. Right. 1963. Three. So, barely a month, two months after uh, JFK shot. This is not a silkscreen, and that's sort of the, the, the magic or the trick in this thing. This is actually Polka doing sort of the analog version. But you can't tell it's a killer. Like, it's a refusal of actually saying what's at stake. This is as far from like a Warhol superstar portrait as you could possibly exactly. get. Exactly. This cat's idea of the glories of consumerism. Infinite is, sausages. Ex infinite precisely. sausages. As many sa infinite sausages. As many versed as you could eat. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. But he grew He's, up in like in, in poverty. So uh, his idea of consumerism is having enough to eat. One of the great claims of this show, aside from being the biggest survey of polka to date, is that it mixes all the media, which is something he actively opposed during his lifetime. Which is not interested in doing. I think it's important for museums to actually say, forget it, we'll do what we want. You don't own the art anymore. Luckily, I mean, luckily. I'm sorry that he's dead, but it means at least the museum can do whatever it wants instead of being, you know. Among other, among other things, we wouldn't be sort of running around here like, a, like we were in an Easter egg hunt looking for titles. One of the interesting things that he did with these uh, raster dots is that he didn't just reproduce them, he, he also, by hand, but he also added to them. Right. He's... Um, because the idea was essentially to make the image more diffuse and determinate, so that fall it would apart. actually sort of like, yeah, it would fall apart right before your eyes. You know what else I think is important to say? Is yeah. that Polka, though one of the most famous artists in the world, is essentially unknown to the public in America. There's been this weird void in this country. Gerhard Richter. Everyone you know, knows Gerhard Richter. Well, because he sells for. $40 exactly. million dollars or whatever they sell for, whereas Polka, the, the market's way lower for Polka. On know, the other hand, there. though, he's definitely an artist artist. It's just about a Polka for every artist. Yeah, yeah. You know, as this, I think, show demonstrates. Mm. When we're talking about Polka being a, an artist of his time, um, or an artist engaged of his time, rather, we, we come to something like this, which is a picture called Dr. Bond, which he produced basically during the German autumn which was when the Banner Randolph gang right. was going absolutely nuts. Things are kidnapping. blowing up. People Things, are being, exactly. People are being hot, are dying. Uh, People kidnapped, are dying. dying. On both sides. And so he basically sort of produces this faceless bureaucrat sitting at his bureau. Um, but killing himself, right? He's, he's about to blow his head off with, with, uh, uh, with, uh, <laughs> with something that won't exactly kill him. I'm worried, though, that the kind of things we're saying all it's, kind, it's of, kind of weird. They all sound negative, but we actually think that Polk is a great artist, right? A really great artist. Like one of the... I do, anyways. I, I'm sure he'd yeah. like to be sort of remembered just like everybody else. There's def yeah, I mean, he's not hes not Bruce Nauman, who just seems like a sort of crazy man doing weird shit. This is... He's definitely inserting himself into the art historical canon by pretending to refuse to insert himself into the art Yeah, that's canon, true. That's right? true. But I guess what I'm getting at is I'm not sure if... Endless questioning, endless debunking basically sort of makes it right. ultimately yeah, yeah. a great statement.